course, young boy uh, did his first photo shoot, first, you know, artwork. Fredo actually, you know, was the first I signed Fredo to straight up ENT and, and G Money. Um, so you signed Fredo Bang and G Money. Absolutely. Yep. We had. How a did little, that situation uh, come about? I called it a um, a media deal, like a, a media management deal. And essentially, when I met Fredo, I actually thought he, he was somebody else. He had hit me up, and I thought he was my friend's little little brother that wanted to, you know, shoot a music video. The screen name was similar at, at the time. I forgot what it was. And so whenever I met up with him, it was at a Ham and Air Shopping Center and it was he, him, him and his mom. And, you know, I think I was charging like three or four hundred dollars, but I did his first video for a hundred since he was in high school. He wanted, you know, and um, it was a, the video, No no Secret. And I remember uh, it was featuring Lil Juice. And at the time, like I said, Juice was like the hottest, whatever. And he, he didn't show up for it. And uh, I, thought that, I thought that was crazy because he lied to Fredo and said he was in Houston. But later on that day, he was uh, in Thug Brothers video and I shot that oh. video featuring Juice. Come on. Shit it on Fredo to go shoot be in Thug Brothers video. Damn. That was kind of fucked up. But um, anyway, like, so I started shooting, you know, I, I decided to keep the same deal, you know, going with, with Fredo where I'm, you know, letting him pay a little bit less and we're shooting his, his videos. And um, we noticed that after diving in your shit, that's whenever my partner had, you know, Allie, she was, uh, uh, had, this was before Black House when she was doing Fresh to Death, when she was doing parties, you know, back when Wabizi was promoting for her and, you know, and all that, all these different people. And um, we noticed that the videos would, and what she was doing with the events really helped promote the videos and the songs. And so we were like, hey, um, we'll, you know, do your next, we'll do your music videos and we'll get you on all these events and we'll make and we'll hype you up and promote you and put our name behind you, you know, if you sign this and, you know, we were going to, um, you know, start booking them and start, you know, uh, monetizing, creating shirts and merchandise and, and all that type of stuff. So that's, that was the gist of the, uh, of the agreement. And, um, and it was actually, it wasn't just them. It was G Money, Fredo. It was a girl named Joaquin and another guy named Trust Justin. And they all uh, signed the same deal. And um, after that, this is, this was, uh, so we already shot, you know, several videos. This was after Crazy Trey died, which I diving in your shit. And the first video we shot um, after they signed was iPhone 6. And that was, that was, that was the TBG saga um i've never i've never talked about this it's so crazy it's uh, the first this to be the first of were, a thousand podcast let's get it they were i i i remember they one first of all cleasy jock shout out to them for like building that type of having that vision and building that type of empire but they know for a fact that that first photo shoot was i knew this was it was a shit show it was the it was the worst photo shoot of my life they were so dysfunctional, like everybody was clicked up. You had, you know, young boy and his people and, you know, Fredo over here, you know, they, they was, the other niggas was low key hating on Fredo and G-Money, you know, cause they were the popular ones. And, you know, um, I, I'm not going, I'm not coming out until it's my time. It was very toxic I, from, you know, at least during that particular time period with them. However, what they had that me and 